Hello Mobix Toga and this is going to be a Zombies live commentary on the map 5 on Black Ops the original and I'm going to be giving ideas for Black Ops 2 Zombies assuming it's called Black Ops 2 we haven't actually received 1 million percent confirmation until the official trailer comes out in like tomorrow or like today when this video comes out so it's actually not smart to make this make the video by today but anyway this is going to be discussing ideas for Black Ops 2 what they should incorporate maybe all that sort of many 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 stuff and I'm also going to be playing live, of course, and it's going to be a long video, hopefully, assuming I don't die on, like, round 5. But, um, as it's part of my Zombies Live commentary series, this is the very first time I play it. Even if I completely mess up or, like, I don't know, something goes wrong with the commentary, or... <laughs> crazy words. This is the very first time I'm doing this. That might offend you, you might think that's good... But um, regardless, that's just how this is uh, going down. But anyway, zombies. I'm going to just quickly start off with a brief explanation, just in case you're not familiar with zombies. I honestly don't know how you can be not familiar with zombies, but I'll give you a brief rundown on it anyway. It's a Call of Duty game engine, but um, it's applied to this new concept where uh, you sp there's like a big map. You pay to open new areas of the map, such as Open Door 750, um, there's windows around the map that zombies come in from, you have to kill the zombies, you get points for killing them. Also, there's a little phony streak, I forgot about that one. Um, you have to kill the zombies by shooting them in the head. Um, but yeah, you have to kill the zombies, uh, you can buy guns on the walls, which will help you kill the zombies. Um, and then there's a mystery box where you'll get the best weapons in the game, but also the worst weapons in the game. Uh, it's an interesting, it's an interesting game mode. And I'm actually really familiar with zombies, but I thought I'd give a quick, brief rundown just in case you're not familiar with zombies. I honestly don't know how you cannot be, but I have like 295 subscribers. Someone in there is gonna be like, "What's a zombie?" And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be like, "Oh, you, you're not smart." But now I don't have to, so. Um, Glad we got that out of the way. Um, but anyway, on the first few rounds, what I like to do is shoot and then knife because then you get to use your pistol ammo and get points. It's a point whore technique that anyone who plays zombies a lot will be familiar with. Um, but yeah, I want to actually start getting into Black Ops 2 ideas now because that's. Th Black Ops 2 is the interesting topic between like March and. You know, when Black Ops 2 comes out. Wait, March? It's like May now, shit. Sure. Um, but Black Ops 2 is the interesting topic between now and when Black Ops 2 comes out, so I feel like discussing it is the best way to, you know, give you a topic that you actually uh, give a shit about and talk about it, because I'm sure that's what you want from subscribing for me. I'm sure that's what you look for in a video on your homepage. But um, anyway, Black Ops 2 ideas, let's go. Anyway, in the first room, I've, I've actually done a video on this before, by the way, so you might want to check that out, but... um. In the first room, in uh, all the Black Ops maps, including DLC and classic ones, not classic ones actually, but in uh, there's there's two weapons on the wall, they both cost 500s, and the only difference is the Olympia's a shotgun, uh, oh, I'm going to die, oh, that was close, um, <coughs> the only real difference is the Olympia is a shotgun, therefore it has spreads, but then only has two in the clip, and the M14, obviously it's precision weapon, and therefore has eight in the clip and that's pretty much the only difference is they do similar damages and they're both really shitty but I don't think it should be that way I think there should be two options like two valid options like in World of War you had the um, bolt action that cost 200 then you had the semi-auto which cost 600 I think they should have a system like that back maybe have a 500 and a 1000 I don't know just or you know a 400 and an 800 Something like that, I'd like to see. I'd like it to be a proper option, not pick the M14 over the Olympia every time. I'd like to sometimes use each weapon. Like, and that's, and that's, that's even out of the times that you use the first weapon in the first room. Like, how often do you buy an M14 and then. Who buys Olympias? I, I don't know anyone who does. So, you know, in the first room, they should have not a bolt action, let's say something like the M14 with 8 in the clip. And then, like, I don't know, maybe an M4, like, have, an, have a similar weapon, but have, with a bigger clip, perhaps, on the other side. Something interesting like that, I'd I'd be interested to see that. 
because I, I want them to improve the dynamic of zombies. Uh, but anyway, there's a machine here, by the way, just in case you're not aware. Meh, death machine. Uh, the death machine power-up, I'd like to see removed or turned off or changed into... St I don't know. You should be able to activate it when you want, like it should go into your kill streak slot, maybe. Because um, the amount of times death machines kill you, I think that's uh, bullshit when a power-up kills you. Also, uh, faint music, zombie music in the background. You might be able to hear that if you have headset, but if not, oh well. But anyway, this is the last. Ooh, oh fuck! Ah uh, fuck! That was close. Um, lost my train of thought. So I almost died. Um, but yeah, I'm actually out of the live commentary game. I haven't done one for a while. But anyway, moving on with the commentary ideas. Uh, I think barriers. I think there should be some more motivation to keep them shut. Maybe. I don't know how you could do that, but I do like the concept of. Uh, let me let me think of a quick idea on the spot. Barriers, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a power up, uh, not carpenter, but like, maybe there's a machine you can buy that will keep, like, it will give you some, uh, it will give you a uh, equipable, put down a ball or something, piece of equipment that you can put on a window, and it will stop zombies spawning from that window for 30 seconds. And then, obviously, to balance it, you can only use one per window per round. But that sort of thing would just be really interesting to me. Oh, don't get in. <clears throat> also, the lift system is pretty interesting. I like how in this game they didn't like focus too heavy on teleporters, because like, on the three maps they are on, they are very boring and dull and all the bad words that you don't want things to be. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a bit sidetracked here. Um, pack a punch, that's something I have a fairly good opinion on. Um, stop with all the bullshit ways to pack a punch. All I want to do is pay money. I don't want to. I, 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 I don't. I didn't mind ascension because it's just a matter. Oh, that was bad. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm not bad at zombies. I'm just rusty. This is my actual first game as. Oh, let me get, get me up. Put oh, on it. Oh, no, oh, no, pick. Oh, that was. Um. But, um. Yeah, I want. I want to lift 400 points for the. Uh, been going off by the way, just in case you're not uh, aware. But anyway, um, in Black Ops, I think they got really bullshitty towards the end with how you unlock the pack punch. Like, I think it should be simple. I like, uh, I, d I don't know. I think pack punching is like a key part of the game, and depriving us of it is just bullshit and chips to make the map seems like they last longer. But it doesn't even work properly at that, so you know, I I don't even know. Let's just not complain, because that makes JD 2020 angry. But um, I am just messing around, by the way. Um, I say um a lot as well. I think that's not good for commentating and all that shit. Uh, but anyway, here's Mule Kick. Just in case you haven't seen it on this map yet, I think it's called yeah, it's called Mule Kick. But anyway, what I think about pack punching, it should just be maybe. A really expensive door to get to the pack a punch, and then obviously add like some extra, like on a Kino deterrent, perhaps, like have an extra room which is just a teleporter. Oh shit! Have an extra room which is just a teleporter, like the teleporter that's in the corner, and then have that cost like 2,500 to open the door to it. And they do something like that so it's obvious but expensive rather than obvious. Well, not even obvious in these new maps, just you know, bullshitty. Like, for instance, on Shangri-La, you have to get people to organise on it. So if you're playing with randomers, you can't pack a punch, which I think... I, d I don't know who thought that was smart. I just... I just... I disagree with them. Goddamn JD2020. Um, and it looks like I'm out of ammo, so I'm going to have to nade this round, because I don't want to buy ammo, because I'm poor. Uh, ooh. Okay, I think that's okay. No, this is not working. I'm gonna have to knife the zombies anyway. No, uh, but yeah, the pack punch should definitely. Oh, this is also my first HD zombie video. So, um, old fans of the zombie series on my channel, what do you think of the new HD zombies? Look how yellow their eyes are. I recently upgraded to HD, and it makes me wonder when I look at every video, and I'm like, wow, that shit's HD. Um, 
But anyway, pack a punch. It should be really like simple, but maybe expensive if they need to make it hard. But not bullshitty and teamwork orientated, because fuck teamwork. And maybe that makes me an oh M16. I'd like one of those. Sorry, I keep losing my train of thought when I'm talking about pack a punch. But um, pack a punch should just be like easy to unlock, but maybe expensive if they want to make it hard. And maybe make team make teamwork make it cheaper. But the current system really is a bit bullshitty for my liking. Where it's like, Meh -heh -heh, all your team have to be alive, and you can't have one dick on your team or no one upgrades. Because don't get me wrong, I I like being that dick, but I think it's a bit shitty for everyone else that they can't upgrade while I'm being a dick. Anyone else feel like that? No? But um, anyway, pack, other pack punch ideas. Um, I think the attachment you get on your gun should be randomised each time you pack punch it. So, um, for instance, in this game, on the M16 you always get the underbarrel uh, grenade launcher, and you never get a sight or dual mags or extender mags. Well, actually, I think you get... No, you don't get extended mags. But... Like, I think they should be randomised each time, so sometimes you'll get an M16 red dot, sometimes you'll get an M16 reflex, sometimes you'll get, yeah, just, you know. Uh, there's a zombie left, but I can't find it, I'm going to have to go sound for it. I can hear that music quite clearly now, actually. Oh, it teleported, and it's over there. Uh, round 7 begins, and let's see the recording time. Just so I can be like, meh. Okay, it looks like we're on like, just the 12 minute ish mark, and it looks like it's docked around. Oh, fuck, he, he spawns before. Oh, fucker. Oh, steal the MPL, steal the. Okay. So the idea of the doctor is he steals your gun and then runs off with it, and you have to go, you know, get your gun back, really. Uh best way to do this is to use the second floor. It's not a glitch, but it's like an exploit. Like the second floor is really easy to kill him on. And uh, the other second way is just use a python or a uh, ray gun. Oh, and looks like we have to buy one of these rooms. Uh, I'll buy me some claymores. Been with pack punching, I've been on this for about six minutes now because I'd never leave it. Um, but anyway, pack punch. Well, I think you sh it should be randomised each time for every attachment the gun can have. I think that'd be interesting, and definitely, it'd mean you'd, like sometimes you have to re-upgrade a weapon because you didn't get the exact one you want if you have an exact strategy. I think it'd improve the replayability of zombies, in, in my opinion. That's just me. But oh, looks like the box is gone. Let's leave in style. Um, yeah, this map is really claustrophobic, by the way. Um, but I also think you should be able to upgrade weapons more than once. Maybe just the second time, but ideally I'd like it to be as many times as possible. And uh, make the second time cost like 10,000, or if it's just going to be a one-time thing, like 20,000 even. And then, if you want, make that second pack punch option really bullshitty, like you have to have all your teammates alive. But I think that, you know, once you upgrade a weapon once, and then that weapon gets weak, the f the f what are you meant to do? You can sit there with like 600,000 points and you don't need anything more than an upgraded like, I don't know. I don't want to use the ray gun example because I don't think those need to be upgraded anymore. But like, you can sit there with 600,000 points using your, uh, I don't know, upgraded M16 Skull Crusher. And um, I just think there should be something to spend your money on. Even if it's like vague and not many people know about it. And then, like, the second upgrade option wouldn't be that much better, but it's add a second attachment, and then you'd be like, shit. And you, and then they, and then, then if they randomise the attachments, then it adds another fucking layer, because you'd be like, if I want exactly a reflex and a, I don't know, shotgun. I don't know, just be insane to, you know, see how that goes down and stuff. Um, I think there should be a suppressor in zombies. But... I think that's too stupid an idea to actually like implement properly, so I'm I'm not going to push that one. Um, but in, in Black Ops 2, this is uh, some general map talk. I think they should have the um oh didn't actually call the elevator up. 
cool up. Oh shit. Oh, I'm alive. Um. <laughs> Die. Um, the maps that come for Black Ops 2, hopefully they have three maps, because in um, World of War they had one, and uh, this they had two. So hopefully Black Ops 2 we get three maybe, but I'm not too hopeful. Um, but hopefully they have three maps, and what I'd like to see is a uh, five-sized map, even smaller really, because look how big this floor is here. Like, you might not be thinking it's that big a floor, but I want a map where you can't rape train. I use, I use the word rape train, but it's actually called kiting, I believe. Um, I want a map where you can't just run around for as long as you can stay alive. I want a map where you need to, like, vary your strategy every time you do a loop, because the best way to do this map is to just loop it, and that makes you feel really good the first few times you do it, but... No, no, it's just not a, um, what do you call it thing. I'm not sure what the whatchamacallit is, but, um... <laughs> the DEFCON system, I'm going to quickly show you that as well. I feel like I'm showing you an old map just to, like, prove a point about new ones, but... You know what else, it's doing a live commentary, really? Actually, I could talk about the uh, Black Ops 2 like I've been trying to do, but I'm just such a distractible person, it doesn't really happen, does it? Let's, let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, so now that's the last DEFCON, so I can just save up money and pack a punch. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about is they should have three maps uh, on the Black Ops 2 disc that come with it. Um, they should have a nice small map like this, that's like even smaller ideally, Shangri-La, but like mixed of this. And shangri is an awful map, but I like how hard it is. Um, then they should have a map that's like medium-sized, let's say a uh, Kino de Toten sort of idea. And then uh, have a massive map that just sort of... It's just fun, but easy. Like uh, Call of the Dead or Moon, for instance. But anyway, actually I think they should just bring Moon back directly into um, Black Ops 2. They won't do it, but I think they should. And zombies be dead. <laughs> I love how fast you uh, go through the waves in solo. Like, it's a massive grind in uh, multiplayer, but... Solo, you can just sit there for a while, so... Ooh. I should have stayed... Oh, for fuck's sake. Die. Okay. Looks like I'm M16ing him, then. And then he's going to peer out one of these two teleporters. Oh, he's there. Anyway, um, regards to the dog slash hellhounds slash doctor slash... I don't know what the fuck that's going to be in the next game rounds. I think they should stick to dogs. I, I don't know why they went off the dogs. I like the dogs. It's probably because they were easy, but... What's wrong with easy? It's gets the job done. And I really want to win this house so I can start talking about wonder weapons. But um Yeah, I don't I don't see what's wrong with dogs. Um if you want, mix it up. But I don't think I think having no boss rounds it sort of makes the go game a bit duller. After that I want the see that I can't get the monkeys because I've got a shitting death machine. Oh, I hate life. Oh, it's gonna get me killed as well. Uh, but anyway, jump out this window. Oh! At least the zombies are dead, right? At least the zombies are dead. Uh, but it looks like I'm going to hold off here for a few seconds till the elevator gets here. So that's going to be fun. Do, 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 Um. I lose my train of thought so much during these. Um, cooler zombies probably shouldn't come back, you know, I just don't think that's smart, maybe that's just me, but I like playing zombies against zombies, maybe I'm crazy. I also think the wall weapons should be improved, like, the best wall weapon you can get in this is the MI6, or the um, AK-74U, 
And I think there should be some, like, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 weapons on the wall. So that mystery boxing isn't your only option, because fuck mystery boxing, really. Uh, do I buy the Dawn by about? Yeah, I do. I'll buy that. Bowie knife. And teleport piece. Oh, I'll, sh I'll show you the uh, trap piece. I keep saying I'll show you the fucking thing as if this is a new... Oh, it feels so retarded. Um, but anyway. <laughs> I want to talk about perks quickly. I've already done a video talking about perks, but I want to do a uh, quick rundown on what I think there should be, because I've had uh, new enlightenment since then. What I think there should be is um, full perk slots originally, when you start the game. And then you should be able to buy more perk slots, like either outside the game using some form of uh, XP system, which would make the game really fun because then you'd be like, oh, need to kill like 10,000 more zombies to get my next perk slot. I don't know, I thought that'd be pretty. There is a lot of chunks of meat flying at me. Um, lost my train of thought again. Yeah, I've, I think I've completely lost it this time, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I think it was a good point as well. Oh, uh, but anyway. I love making these live commentaries. It's it's really fun. Just to play a game. and Like, these are the sort of videos I enjoy making and would make if there was literally zero fucking viewers. Like, the other videos, like... I I need to know someone's watching them, but these ones, the uh, like even like five views, it's like fuck yeah, someone gives a shit. On these videos, it's just like oh, I don't have to care at all. It's lovely. It's just not that sort of thing for me really. Uh, by the way, when Black Ops 2 Zombies does come out, I'm gonna be um doing videos on it within like the first three days of its release. Just a heads up if you wanna see some Black Ops 2 zombie gameplay when it first comes out. And uh, until that time, I'm probably going to stick to the Black Ops zombies and the um, Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer until, I don't know, Minecraft. Actually, Minecraft's out not so long from now, so that's... Ooh, fuck. But yeah, Minecraft's out not so long from now, so hopefully mix up my channel for that. I mean, for Xbox, by the way. Anyway, claymores. Um, I think they should have claymores and bouncing betties, so you can have one that's super powerful, and one that's like, like maybe have like nine claymores around, and then two bouncing betties. But the claymores do shit all, whereas the bouncing betties, uh, you know, do actual stuff. Um, perks I'd like to see in Black Ops 2. That was what I was talking about. Um, this is just going to be all the crazy ones that make you go what. And then make you maybe that could work. I doubt any of these are actually going to be in there, but it'll be awesome if they are. Uh, first of all, Stalker. Like, I think they should combine that with something and make it a perk. Because um, aim down sights are moving as a bitch in this game. I'd like to see them do something about that. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, it's round 14. I have to make it to, like, round 23, and then I beat my Darius round, and then... I've proven that I don't suck at zombies, because, you know, I've been doing really shitty in this series so far, and uh, it is live first time, every time, I've mentioned that before, but there is a red light on my fucking PVR, that is not a good thing. Maybe that means recording. Um, <laughs> sorry once again to go off course, but I'm going to noob tube these zombies to shit, and it will show you one of the attachments you can have. Boom. Reload cancel. Boom. Reload cancel. Oh, fuck. Oh, I think I killed some zombies as well. <coughs> wow. <laughs> I think I just eliminated the round of that. Uh, looks like I'm going to be knifing for the first bit of this next round. I'll knife with my grenade launcher out. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Do 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 do. 
go MI6, go MI6, Bowie knife, go MI6, go MI6. I need to get sleight of hand. Oh, 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 that was not healthy. Um, well, the teleport system on this, if you're not aware, the middle teleport will take you up a floor or take you up another floor. And uh, all the other teleporters just loop the same floor over and over again. Also, trap piece, yay! Do, 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 do. Also, there's two trap pieces in case you are also not aware. Oh, fuck. This is going to be one of those fun ones. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit, man. Also, for the record, there is a massive headshot mark blown zombies, so you should always, always aim for the head if you're fucked. That's one of my uh, pro tips for staying alive in zombies. And uh, what power up was that? Oh, it was a max ammo. Whoa, they are spawning to shit, aren't they? Ah, claim wouldn't get any kills. Anyway, perk ideas. I only mentioned one, then I start getting sidetracked. I do that a bit. I'm, I apologise. Um, but anyway, um, other things I think they should include. I think they should uh, get rid of mule kick because. I don't like it. <laughs> but in all seriousness, other perks. I think there should um there should be recon, which will like not use the radar because having a radar on zombies would be silly. But maybe make you able to see zombies you tag through walls. So there'd be the extra element of zombies in working out where all the zombies are based on using recon. Oh no, I think that'd be interesting. Like. Maybe as a secondary, maybe combine recon and stalker and have a, I don't know, re reconnaissance, and make it a combination of recon and stalker. I don't know. I think that'd be a really interesting idea for zombies. Let me know if I'm wrong. But um, oh god, I'm so fucking blinded. This thing is such a massive explosion radius, really. Zombies be dead. Zombies be dead. Where's round 16 at? Uh, another perk I think they should have is um, this one's like the most impractical, but marksman that maybe <sighs> lets you see the zombies clearer. I'd like something that does that. And uh, here's a little technique you can use to kill the doctor every time without too much effort. Uh, direct impact new tube. Direct impact noob tube and MI6 spray. Yeah, take my commando, bitch. And uh, fire at the head a bit. Oh, this this thing is recoil. And he's over there. Yeah, the doctor's actually fairly easy to take out. I realise. Um, reload the skull crusher. I heard monkey. Oh, it must be the pig. <laughs> I feel like such a mean prick every time I kill the pig, but it has to be done. Anyway, Black Ops 2 zombies ideas. I wanna, I wanna keep on the theme of that, so I can just call the video Black Ops 2 zombie ideas, and then uh, you know, not have to create a clever title that's like Black Ops 2 Zombie Ideas and Toy Cat Rambles because I, I like to have organised videos I guess maybe I'll just edit out this part where I'm talking about how I'm going to edit out this part just to make edit editception well, the fact that you're listening to that means you know I'm not listening it's editing it out but how do you know I didn't just forget yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway other perks, I think there should be a um, some form of bandolier perk that gives you more backup ammo. Like it doesn't have to be that much more, like maybe 150% of the standard. But I think that add, add an interesting uh, dynamic to zombies. Uh, I also think that bandolier wouldn't shouldn't be able to work with wonder weapons because you know fuck that. 
Um, I think the round progression, like, as in how much zombies health increases per round, that should be fixed, in my opinion. Because uh, at the moment, I think round 40 is like 10, 15 times harder than round 20. And I'd say more actually, like 30, 40 times more difficult than round 20. And I just don't really see the logic. And then like round 70 is like 600 times more difficult than round 20. <coughs> and I think it should be sort of linear. Lin linear sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Because I just think that, like, how many, uh, I don't know. I think it's a bit bullshitty how, like, past round 30, you just have to, like, you can't kill them anything but wonder weapons. Like, it completely goes against the spirit of zombies, like, only having one weapon that kills the enemies, but... Whatever, I guess. What Treyarch like to do, they like to do. What I'd like to see is, so every wave it goes up an equal amount, but then the zombies go up exponentially. So you can kill the zombies easily, but there's a shit ton of them to kill. Like, I'd, I'd think that'd be interesting. And then, like, because then people would get to, like, round 150, 200, and it wouldn't be a matter of leave your Xbox on for, like, eight weeks running. It'd be a matter of who can actually play zombies the best. <coughs> uh, yeah, I, th I think that about sums up my opinion on that. Boom, nuke. I think there does need to be more skill in zombies. I don't know how they can implement it, though. Like, besides having more small maps like this, because... I really don't think there is any skill to zombies. Like, there's about... There's, like, there is skill, don't get... Well, there is, yeah, there is a bit of skill. But it's not... Like, the skill cap is so low. Like, some retarded player with, a like, 0.4 KD can do the same as I'm doing, like, right now. And I'm not, like, that good at zombies, don't get me wrong. But, like, some fucking retard, no offence, fucking retards out there, would be able to do the same as I can do, because the skill cap is just that low. Like, the maximum skill you can have, which is knowing how to avoid the zombie spawns, is just... I don't know, it's just interesting. Noob tube. And that's why I like to do things like use a skull crusher instead of like going for a ray gun. Because, you know, fuck the ray gun. No, fuck the thunder gun. You know what? Fuck, fuck wonder weapons. They make the, we they make the game less enjoyable. Because the only way to do well is to use them. I'd love to see a map without wonder weapon. Well, this is sort of an example. Like, no wonder weapons, no ray gun, no nothing. Like, because then you'd have to use your gun and... I think it'd be interesting to see how people like cope with that. Like, what, what the, what is the world record for five anyway? I don't think it's anything above round seventy. Whereas the world record for ascension is like one fifty something, and it's just, I don't know, it's just insane. Also, here's a fun thing about zombies: they can hit you, but not while you're shooting them. I guess my weapon's too powerful to show that to you right now. But I'll have to show you that at some point in the later rounds, assuming I keep staying alive. By the way, if you've survived to this point in the thing, um, if you want me to do another uh, live commentary, liking or favouriting the video, I don't like to be a whore, so I'm mentioning it really late in the video, so most people don't see it, only the people who are actually watching it. If you're watching this and you actually enjoy it, or you're finding it, you know, passable and it's keeping you at least moderately entertained, uh, give it some form of like, favourite or comment, so I at least know that you like it. Because I don't actually care, as I said before, because it's nice, like, I, I'm just having fun making these, but... Knowing that someone's watching is a nice bonus. Let's put it that way. I think I'm going to go mystery box, because, you know, it's a bit boring just whoring out this floor. So, meh. I'm going to go try mystery box mid-round. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. What happened there? Um, oh, oh, this is... Oh, mystery boxing mid round is hard. I'll I'll say that much now. And rape, 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 rape. Look at those points. Rape, rape, rape. Look at those points. Rape, rape, rape. Look at those points. I'm gonna come back to the max ammo later, by the way. Oh, look, I'm on the. Oh shit. 
game hates me. Oh, looks like I can just go this way. Where is it? Was it over there or was it over Oh, it's over there. Claymore, Claymore. Boom. Oh, there's a death machine over there. I want to get a high mobility weapon. Uh, the mobility of weapons, I think there should be like heavier emphasis on mobility versus power. So I think there should be some super mobile weapon that just does very little damage. Like, uh, I think there should be more, you know, yeah, mobility options really. Oh, 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 look at that red. That is not what you want to be seeing on a Saturday afternoon. It's not actually Saturday, by the way. I think it's Monday. Might be Monday. Let's don't quote me on that. Will be like Thursday when this video is uploaded, and then like most people don't even watch it the day it's uploaded. So maybe it's Saturday night. So not what you want to see on a Saturday night, is it? Me. <coughs> I think I'm gonna buy double tap. No, I won't buy double tap. That's a waste of my life. Um, been on a serious zombie talk again. I love the little like. Ooh, famous. Um, but anyway, back to zombies talk. Because I like doing zombies. Oh. Yeah, as I said before, I think there should be two options. Have weak claim, or like current strength claymores, which do, you know, what they do, but have like lots of them. And then bouncing betties, where you have like just the one of them. I'd like to see more tactical options like that put in zombies, because at the moment it is just like, you know... I don't know, there isn't enough choice in zombies to make it, you know. I like the sort of stuff where I'm doing like 5% better than someone who chooses the claymore because. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God, I'm. To be fair, I did I did see it coming. Like, that that means I'm slightly good at the game because I can. Oh, no, what, why is he coming back? Oh, oh, that, that's not cool. That's not cool. Anyway, game over. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I enjoyed playing it like shit. Uh, leave some positive action if you liked it. And I hope I gave you enough insight and Black Ops 2 ideas. I'm probably going to be doing another episode for Call of the Dead very soon. So if you want to see a Call of the Dead live commentary, subscribe. Uh, I also do lots of COD stuff, so check out my channel. I'm going to stop, stop self-promoting. And uh, Black Ops 2 is going to be an incredible game. And I'm as psyched as you will are for it. And I'm waiting for all the news. And um, hopefully Black Ops 2 is a good game overall. And um, there's round one. I'm going to nade myself so I die twice in a row. And then you're like, Wah! Just kidding. Oh, shit. Anyway, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Really appreciated. And this was a like 35-minute video. Shit.